It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the 49ers and the Dolphins next on EA Sports. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Operating from the gun, Jacobs. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there. That'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but... It... On first down, Jacobs... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And they will finally get him, but not until he's... Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward an ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 at a first down off the play fake jacobs and his throw is going to be incomplete will fuller was the intended target but it's going to be second down To throw again. Jacobs flush to his right. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius. And they'll start on the ground with Hines. Looking for a scene, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Looking to throw. 
Jacobs eluding the pressure right. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. From the gun, Jacobs being chased out left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The On first and ten, Jacobs flushed out right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 27. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark one yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He gets it into the arms of Parker. Complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And the Dolphins are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. They'll try to run with Hines. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. We have hit halftime, and we will skip. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. Shifts by him, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Fuller. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Throwing on first down. Jacobs. It's complete to Fuller. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good gain and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Off play action. Jacobs steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And my goodness, another interception. 
Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And the return. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hines. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Going up top. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And finally out of bounds down near the 10 yard line. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And for a while, when this play's open, all the talk was about punts hitting the Giants scoreboard here at Arlington. I don't think we ever heard about a pass hitting the scoreboard. That's probably about as close as you're. They go play action here on first down. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go deep down the left sideline. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake. Jacobs. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Naheem Hines. And that takes us from second to third down. Off play action. Jacobs. Looking deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Uh, give him credit. So the victory here for San Francisco. And I tell you what. As dedicated fans of the NFL, my audience is sure to recognize the voice of our next guest, especially if you happen to be a Madden player where he's worked alongside Brandon Gauden since 2016. It is a pleasure now to welcome to our show longtime NFL broadcaster, my pal Charles Davis. Charles, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, Kevin. Always fun to spend time with you. So, Charles, I got to tell you, you know, as someone who's watched and listened to so many of your games, I am always impressed by how prepared you sound. Uh, that's awfully kind of you, Kevin. But as you know, as Brandon knows, preparation, that's the key to success. And let's face it, each week we get ready for a game. It's like preparing for midterms or finals. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I imagine that all that work doesn't end when...
It's Madden NFL 22. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the... He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Back to throw. Jacobs, buying time to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Operating from the gun. Jacobs. Touchdown, Dolphins. Mike Gesicki, his second... Play fake here on first down. Being chased out left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And this one is incomplete. Lynn Bowden, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Now it's Hines. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Looking to throw. Jacobs escaping the pressure right. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Off the play fake, Jacobs. He rifles one that's intercepted. Greedy Williams picks it off. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line.
this whole time I thought my streaming headset was on and it wasn't. Ah, I forgot what button he is. Ah, I forgot who that was in front of me. Is down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Throwing after the interception. Jacobs. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And past wow. the 40 before he's out of bounds. An excellent way to Jaylen start Waddle. the drive there. 18 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. In the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Alright, he's square, not triangle. Another first and ten. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost There you go. Hey, first down. I have two interceptions. Wow. Win. I know one, but I don't know the second one. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Through one quarter, 14 7, our score. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Devontae Bro, my offensive line is. Receiver. And now it's second down. Literal duty water. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to his tight end. Hey, he's running through him. Let's go. Cool. But not before getting it inside the 35. That'll put him at an even 50 receiving yards now in this first half. And it's a first down. Here's Hines. Hey. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Looking to throw, Jacobs. Ah, he should have threw it to me. Oh, he the flag on. Huh? Illegal man downfield. Hey, whack. That's cool. I'm finna score a touchdown anyway. Looking to throw on second down. Jacobs. <laughs> got him. Right. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. The if everything goes man, right, this should be a first down. First down. From the red zone now. Look Waddle. To throw. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jacobs escaping the pressure right. Hey, yo. He had a good game throwing the ball so oh, my God. He was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. The ball resting on their own five here as they come up to the line on second and long. Back to throw. Jacobs. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And it's third down. You always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete. Mm -hmm. Yes, he caught every other ball coming his way. So they thought they got something really good going there. And they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stuff. And that is too far. First down, Jacobs. He's going to let this one go deep. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And what was amazing to me was the fact he was able to get as much on the ball as he did because he was on the run. Normally, when you're on the move like that, you don't expect the ball to go that far. You would think you need your lower body to be involved. That was an all-arm throw. On first and ten, Jacobs. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. Pick. Throwing middle. That takes too long to throw that one. So back to back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Throw oh, why you take so long to take off? Now the Browns will use the first of the going to have time. Why the f would they not let me go for that? That was retarded. Well, indeed, try to run it out as they start on the ground. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. From the gun, Jacobs steps away to his left. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on. All right, folks. They begin the drive with Hines. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. Why you didn't wait for your offensive line then? They slide off and try and chip someone at the second oh, level. I got Typically, we think it's the now. strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially yeah, closer to the line of scrimmage favorite. amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Off the play fake, Jacobs. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time. First down, it's Hines, and he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that won't buy him much room, just a one-yard gain to the five. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone, so they could use something here on third down. Looking to throw. Hines. Oh, this dude, man. And you know the man who 
who's sat in my chair the last few years. He has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. I ain't running up there no more. He just got a steam. Throwing on first down. Jacobs flush to his right. Here's Fuller with a catch. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there. 26 yards. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found it. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. Boy, left that first defender grasping at air as he winds up getting a full eight yards on that play. On second down, right back to Hines. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. He's going to air one out. Ah, uh, come on. on the deep ball. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and ten. Why he takes so long to throw? But they'll say it's incomplete. And now offensively it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation to throw a big seed? Right now the play call is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring. No, why would you look? And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Denzel Ward. Jacobs eluding the pressure right. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Operating from the gun, Jacobs. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. There we go. To fight another down, right? And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 65 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. The job one to pick up the first down is complete. That was a big third down conversion, but they got to watch the clock. It's starting to become their enemy a bit here in a two-score game. Which means they have to pick up the pace, right? The tempo has to be up. And what they do is they tell the quarterback in his, in his helmet, hey, listen, when we pick up the first down here, tell everyone we're going. We're moving now to two-minute offensive phase, and everyone on the bench area, they're waving them along too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flatliner, leveling everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Oh, uh, then let me pick it. First and ten. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. 
Off the bootleg. Jacobs flushed out right. On the right side, this is Miller. Oh, let me get it back. Let me run another play. Not kick it. Thank God. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down. There we go. Let's go. And he'll be out of bounds. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Oh, they're gonna stop us right here. Fuck it. There we go. They'll try to run this one in. And he is not gonna get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No hey, watch this big play. I don't know if it's gonna work, but watch it. Yeah. Go on. They stay on the ground again. It's Hines. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little. Ah, uh, that was wrong. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Browns, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the Baltimore Ravens next week. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they'll drop down to 1-3. and three, And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings.